The following question reads that a bungee jumper on a platform over a river is attached to an elastic rope that is 20 meters long when unstretched. He falls towards the river and his lowest point is 30 meters below the platform. So here you have your bungee jumper that is falling from a bridge and it's a 20 meter rope. And he says that he falls towards the river and his lowest point is 30 meters below the platform, which means that the bungee jumper is going to stretch a further 10 meters. Uh, so remember, a bungee rope is stretchable. So if the bungee jumper ha has a 20 meter rope tied on, then because of the weight of the bungee jumper, the rope is going to stretch. And it's going to stretch for 30 meters because at the lowest point, it's 30 meters below the platform. Question then reads that the initial gravitational potential energy of the jumper is transferred to other forms during the jump. Which other form of energy do the jumper and rope have when the jumper has fallen halfway and when he is at the lowest point of his jump? So let's first look at what's happening at the halfway point. So as the bungee jumper is jumping at the halfway point, that means that the rope is not stretched. He's jumping 30 meters in total. So at 15 meters, the rope is definitely not stretched. It's a 20 meter long rope. Uh, so at 15 meters, that's going to be the halfway mark. Uh, it's going to be, it's going to start over here. And it, this is going to be just 15 meters. So at the 15 meter uh, mark, the rope is not stretched. If the rope is not stretched, uh, the rope is not going to have any energy. There's not going to be any elastic. It's going to be an unstretched rubber rope. So it's not going to have a, have any energy at all. So, so there's not going to be any elastic potential energy, but the bungee jumper would be traveling. It would be moving. So at the halfway mark, he's still falling. So that means there's going to be kinetic energy at the halfway mark. Uh, and what's going to happen at the lowest point? When he's at the lowest point, that is when he would stop. Uh, he starts moving. He accelerates. Then he reaches, uh, starts decelerating as the bungee rope starts stretching and right at the bottom he's going to stop when he stops then there is no kinetic energy there's not going to be any kinetic energy uh, the, all the energy would be transferred into the uh, potential energy of the stretched bungee rope and that stretched rope is going to pull the bungee jumper back up again so all the energy gets stored in the bungee cord as the cord stretches so at the bottom, uh, the bungee jumper is going to be stationary. It's going to be completely stationary at the bottom when he is completely when he has completely stressed the bungee rope, and then he would start moving up again. Uh, but at the bottom, the velocity or the speed would be exactly zero. So no kinetic energy. All of it would be converted into elastic potential energy. So D would be the correct answer for this question.